Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Uh, tonight I decided I want to check out uh, PC Tools um, Spyware Doctor with antivirus uh, and I wanted to see how it does. I got some uh, links, I think I got about 10. Um, a lot of them are zero day or very close to it within the last 24 hours, very low detection rates. Uh, so let's get started here. The uh, downloader is 25.4 megabytes. So uh, I've never used this version of uh, Spyware Doctor with the antivirus built in. So uh, let's see how it does here. I'm going to go through the install here. Automatically install updates. Create a desktop, desktop icon. That's good. I'm going to install a trial version. I'm going to turn on my uh, networking card here. I guess uh, you also get uh, registry mechanic here. I don't know if that's a trial or whatnot. There might have been a trial for registry mechanic. I have to look. Uh, I think that's what that is. But uh, we'll just see how uh, what kind of performance we get here out of uh, Spyware Doctor. Now it's uh, downloading its updates. It's got uh, 32 megs worth of updates here. So in the essence of saving time, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the updates and I'll be back when they're all done. Okay, the update's all done. Uh, if anybody was listening to what I said before, I accidentally said pause the updates. Uh, what I meant to say was pause the video. But uh, yeah, it happens. I uh, went to sleep really late last night. so. I'm a little off today. So let's see here, it's initializing the components. Looks like we got a new icon. Okay, and it is finished installing. Now this is going to do a scan. Um, scanning known files. I got some tracking cookies and stuff that's that might be left over from like the thousands of other things that I've been testing here. Okay, we got a little pop-up here. It says, IntelliGuard protection. IntelliGuard protects your PC from known infections by automatically blocking and removing them real-time. You can turn IntelliGuard on or off. Okay, this, uh, let's see, anytime. Okay, do you want to activate? Sure, we'll activate the guard. Why not? Let's go to settings here. Um, See if there's anything that uh, we should be messing with. We're going to turn on IntelliGuard to detect potentially unwanted programs. So that's good. We'll apply that. History, scan settings, scan for rootkit. Uh, and that's, of course, based on heuristics. So um, you have to be careful with that, I guess. Got a community, global action, scheduled tasks, quarantine, and antivirus settings. We'll leave heuristics. I guess it's only normal. Scan method is normal. So let's see here. Let's see what this adware.advertising thing is. I shouldn't have anything on here, but we'll see if that's anything major when the scan finishes here. Okay, it's cookies. I don't even know why they're listing it that way, but uh, let's uh, fix them. Get them out of the way here. 
Oh, well, I guess you can't fix them. Um, that's real nice. A trial, but not a trial. I just, I've never liked these so-called trials where they show you what's wrong on your computer, but they, uh, they won't let you fix anything. How, I, how do I know if the program works like it's supposed to work? Okay, it found it, but uh, will it remove it? I guess that kind of annoying but uh, what can you do okay under the IntelliGuard tab over here on the left we got browser guard file guard you can see that's all turned on immunizer keylogger network process guard and startup guard that's all set up so let's uh, let's give it a try here with uh, some of these malware links. Um, this one might... Uh, that's a new page there, so that's a little different. That one's dead. So it might be dead already. Oop. System tuner, that's some kind of I would maybe it's some kind of rogue or I don't know. I'm not even gonna bother installing it because if it is a rogue it didn't even catch it. Looks like uh, whatever that was that made it through. I think that was a Trojan. Okay, that one got blocked. Heuristics. That's good. Don't block it. Just a dropper. And. Uh, Looks like it's dead. And that one uh, looks like it just killed Internet Explorer. dead also. You can see these go down just so dang fast. Most of the time you don't even get a chance to run them a couple of times. Looks like that one made it through just fine. Looks like this one might be dead also. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pause. I'm gonna stop the video here and start another video because it's getting close to that time. And I'm gonna go grab some more links before I come back. All right, I'll see you guys uh, when I'm uh, in video two.